Welcome to BAM Teacher Tech. In this edition, I'm going to show you how you can take your choice board that you've made in Google Slides, add that as an assignment in Schoology. What the student will do with that choice board as far as uploading artifacts to Schoology, and then how you can give feedback. So I know that's a, that's four different chunks. So feel free to uh, chunk this video out or fast forward to the parts you need. But here we go. We're going to jump in here. So. I have my course open, so I'm ready to go. I also have a tab open for my Google Slides. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna press the share button in the top right hand corner, and I'm gonna get the link. So we have it set that anyone on the internet with a link can view. Uh, what this does is that if a parent goes into Schoology, they can also see the choice board. And you can see here, the choice board's pretty simple. I have one must do, there's three may do's. And so this teacher, uh, Ms. Browning, wants uh, them to upload the must-do, but then also just choose one of the may-dos. So that's kind of the language we're going to use for this video. So I'm going to go over to my sandbox, and I'm going to go ahead and press my green dotted line. So I just want to drop this uh, at the top. But you can also use the Add Materials button. Both do the same thing. So when I click it, I'm looking for Add Assignments. So we're gonna go ahead and add this assignment. We're gonna call this the Pueblo Choice Board. So in the description, I'm gonna say, please, uh, please attach your must do and one, of course I'm gonna uh, emphasize one, may do. Cause you have students that will ask you how many may do's that you're gonna have to do and all that stuff. We know how that works. And so, you can, of course, you can add other directions inside of here, but for the sake of this video, this is what I'm going to go with. And I got my five little icons right above Google Drive assignment. I have file, link, resource, microphone, and this external tool button. But I'm going to look for link, and I'm going to go ahead and paste the link in. So I'm going to press Control V on my keyboard to paste it. And then I'm going to call this the Pueblo Choice Board Google Slides. So that way kids know that this is a Google slide link. I'm going to press attach and to dive added it. We're rock and rolling in this video. Of course, I'm going to do all the basic stuff. I'm going to give it a due date. I'm going to change the points to two. This is going to be a formative. I have the, I have two artifacts they're going to submit to me. So of course I just want to make sure that they're submitting them. So I just give a point for each. I'm going to set it to formal formative. Uh, for, for the sake of this video, I'm going to uncheck this because I do not have a grade book, but if you want to sync this over to, to Phoenix, you would use the sync to SIS button. I'm going to disable comments and I'm going to hit create and dun, da, 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 da. so I have now created the Pueblo choice board. One made one, uh, one must do one may do we're feeling good. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to switch over to the student view and show you how they are going to upload those. So I have a student already uploaded, and this is my student. His name is Joe Peterson. Uh, we will use him for everything, and he's cool about it. So he's inside of his choice board, and now he needs to submit two artifacts. So he's going to press on the Submit Assignment button, and these are things that you can tell your students also. So they're going to press the Submit Assignment button. And they have three options. They have this Upload button where they can just do a file from their computer or record audio and video. They can do Create. So, of course, this is where they can just type away, but they can also use this Insert Content button. Maybe they want to add a picture inside of here where if you hit Image and Media, they can obviously attach a, a picture or a video from their computer as well. And then we have resources here. So for the resources, to get to their Google Drive, they would click on apps. Google Drive uh, resource app would be open and then they can select anything from their Google Drive. But for the sake of this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press create because this first one is they're just gonna upload, or maybe we'll use upload button. They're just gonna upload an artifact from their desktop. So maybe they took a picture and they wanna just upload it. So I'm gonna press file. And you can see here, there's a, I have a million things on my desktop, so please don't judge me on that one. 
And so they're going to look for something to upload here. So I'm going to go ahead and do, let's do screenshot number one. There we go. And they're going to press submit. So there's their first artifact. So that would be the must do they submitted. So now they need to submit their may do. So all they're going to do is press the resubmit assignment button. And for this one, it's a Google Drive uh, resource app. So something in their Google Drive. So I clicked on resources, apps, and uh, we're going to do this Google Doc. But of course, you can pick a slide here. They can pick a picture from, um, uh, from their Google Drive. So anything that has this box next to it, they can select. So they select the box. They click on import and then import file. And dun, da, 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 they've submitted two artifacts. They got their must do. They got their may do. It's submitted on time. This is students being ultra studious today. So we're going to go back over to the teacher view. So I'm just going to, you'll see, I'll just toggle over there. I'm going to find the assignment. Of course, we made it up there, but I've made it a second time because I've redone this video now. And you can see here the student, it needs grading. So it's alerting you that the student submitted his artifacts on time. We're going to go ahead and click it, and we're going to look at the two artifacts that were submitted here. So what I'm going to aim for is the student name, and there's a drop down. It says revision one and revision two. So I'm going to click on revision one was the first artifact. And you can see here it's just a regular picture file. It's going to load in here in my viewer. And it's just a regular picture. So don't, don't freak out that it looks like Schoology. I've actually uploaded this PNG. And so what I want to aim for here is I want to give feedback on this. So this little drop down next to the search will open up sticky notes, drawings. I can highlight text, but I can put a little sticky note anywhere. And I can put it there and I can put nice arrow. There we go. Smiley face. And when I hit save, it's automatically saved. So there's no other save button anywhere else where you can force this feedback. So now when the student goes over and opens this assignment, they will see that sticky note. I can also click on revision two, which opens up their Google Doc that they submitted, but it's not really a Google Doc anymore. You notice that it's a .docx. So pretty much it reformatted it to like a pretty standard Word doc viewer inside of Schoology, which is nice because if Google Drive goes down or is slow or you're having connection issues, you will not have connection issues with this workflow. Also, what's really great about this is that no longer are kids sh hitting the share button and sharing it back to you and then you have to find it in your Google Drive. You're giving feedback right here in Schoology. So for this one, I'm gonna click on the more tools and I'm gonna highlight some text here. Uh, so I'm gonna highlight this text and you can see here, it just kind of opens up this little prompt where it just pretty much will just tell me that I've just highlighted the text here. And of course I can leave a comment over here on the right hand side, maybe some audio video tools, but I want to give this a grade. So he submitted two artifacts. So I'm going to give him a two out of two. Uh, I can give him some feedback here. Great job on your artifacts. When I hit show to students, uh, what this will do, this will alert them that I've given this a grade. They can go in and see the feedback. I'm going to press submit and ta-da, we are finished. And so we have created a choice board. We've created an assignment where students can see the choice board. The students have uploaded artifacts and we've given feedback all in this action-packed BAM Teacher Tech video. So if you have any questions about uh, this workflow or anything else, feel free to reach out at william.peterson at lcps.org. You can also find me on Twitter at BAM Teacher Tech. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video about using choice boards in Schoology.